Howdy y'all, welcome back to the Den of DBZ All-Star. I'm DBZ All-Star, or you can call me Steve if you prefer. So, it's been a while since I've recorded an unboxing for Discount Comic Book Service. I've got three total boxes that I still have yet to unbox, so let's do these one by one. I believe this is the October 2023 box. I just haven't had the time and really the motivation with everything going on lately to get around to unboxing it. I feel like it should be a joyful occasion and I'm feeling more myself when I have in a little bit. Uh, I'll explain that in a separate video, maybe video series, uh, just to talk about my journey a little bit. But let's focus on the discount comic book service haul this time around and let's see what's inside. Alright, as always, there's plenty of protection provided here. I'm gonna pull some of this away, get rid of the address information, and we'll get started. So I actually just flipped it over. I wanted to showcase this. It's got about three and a half layers of bubble sheet here, so that's pretty spectacular. Then... Now I've showcased this in other videos, but you never know if anyone's going to watch these or if this might be someone's first video showing an unboxing from Discount Comic Book Service. And you've got these layered cardboard thingies. And let me get this out here so I can showcase that too. So, you've got your comics. I opted for the bagged and board option. You don't have to. They also do my lights. Obviously, anything other than the unbagged option does cost you a little bit of money. I believe the bags and boards option is $0.25 cents per comic. So it's not too bad. I think the my lights is closer to a dollar. But feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm off base. But they bag and board or they put them in my lights if you want that option they stick them together between two pieces of cardboard and then they wrap a rubber band around it to hold it steadily in place and put that inside plastic as well this is the first little bundle so let's get that open see what's inside all right so yes i believe this is the correct box this is october 2023 starting off with Batman Superman World's Finest, issue 20. Invincible Iron Man, issue 11. Tying into the Fall of X initiative. We have The Last Days of Moon Knight with Moon Knight, issue 28. We have Realm of X, issue 3, also tying into the Fall of X. We have Batman Catwoman Gotham War, Red Hood, issue 2. This is the final issue for this short event tie-in miniseries. Jean Grey, issue 3 of 4, also tying into the Fall of X. Power Girl, issue 2, part of the Dawn of DC by Leah Williams. Actually really enjoyed the first issue. Tales of the Titans, issue 4 of 4, featuring Beast Boy. This series has been a lot of fun as well. Alpha Flight, issue 3, Part of the Fall of X. Per Evil by Mirka Andolfo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And Laura Braga. This is issue three of six. Marvel Zombies. Issue one of Black, White, and Blood. So this is the first issue of Marvel's latest anthology series. They've done a series of black white and blood miniseries and marvel zombies is the latest to undergo this treatment garth and us on this first issue we have steelworks issue five of six this has been a lot of fun too michael dorn who played Worf in star trek the next generation and followed that up with other appearances involved captain marvel issue one by Alyssa Wong. Actually read this already through Marvel's Unlimited Service. Off to a fun start. Hollow's Eve, The Big Night, following up not only 
the Hollow's Eve five issue mini series, which spun out of the Spider Man Dark Web 2022 into 2023 event, but also follows up the Amazing Spider Man annual for 2023. We have Amazon's Attack issue one. Josie Campbell writing this ties in with Tom King's Wonder Woman run. Read this first issue on DC Universe Infinite. Pretty good. Miss Marvel, The New Mutant, issue three. Written by the wonderful actress who portrays Kamala Khan in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Issue three of four. Captain Marvel, issue one. Variant. Love the costume redesign. Captain Marvel, Dark Tempest, issue four of five. By Anne Yacenti. This series has just been alright. Uh, Red Goblin. Issue 9 of 10. Apparently. This has been a very underrated series. It's about uh, another member of the Osborne family. Getting a hold of a symbiote offspring from Venom. Thanks to the current wearer of the Venom symbiote. And just kind of dealing with that. As well as the trauma that family can bring about. Really good. Sorry it's leaving, or has left at this point already. Black Panther, issue 5, by Eve Ewing. A huge, huge step up from the John Ridley one that just really tore T'Challa apart. I highly recommend anything Eve Ewing has written, because the Ironheart series, written by Eve, was also very stellar. So that's the end of... Oh, no, never mind. My apologies. Uh, there's one more, Ranger Academy... Issue 1. Spinning off, of course, of the Power Rangers comic series Boom Studios is publishing. That's the end of the first bundle. So let's move on to bundle number 2. Alright. Didn't want to bore y'all with the unwrapping of the bundle. If that's something any of you watching this would like to see in a future video, I can definitely showcase that. Uh, hopefully you're not bored by me sharing this haul. So, continuing... With bundle number two, we have Batman 138, Gotham War Part 4. This is Teeny Howard and Chip Zdarsky uh, working together for a battle between Batman and Catwoman. We have Shazam, issue four, part of the Dawn of the DC initiative. Mark Wade, Dan Mora working on this while they work on Batman Superman World's Finest. We have Gods, as an acronym. Jonathan Hickman, Valerio uh, Shiti. Apologize if I mispronounce any names. I'm honestly trying the best. Uh, new Mystic Comic by Jonathan Hickman. They released the first issue early on Marvel Unlimited. Have read it. It's off to a pretty stellar start. Can't wait to see how it ties into the greater Marvel Universe. Have Birds of Prey, issue two, Kelly Thompson on it. Off to a wonderful start, did read issue one. Fantastic Four, issue 12, of Ryan Norse run. This run has not skipped a beat. It's really, really great. Batman the Adventures Continue, season three, issue eight, featuring Roz, Rachel Ghoul on the cover. X Men, issue 27. Jerry Duggan's run, part of the fall of X. Peacekeeper, tries hard, book six. This was a really great series. X-Force, issue 45, part of the fall of X. Dealing with some loose plot threads that Benjamin Piercy is preparing to wrap up. X-Force may end with issue 50, we'll see. Strange Academy, The Amazing Spider-Man, part three of this three-part event mini-series. Darkwing Duck, issue nine from Dynamite. That's going to end, I believe, with issue ten and lead into Darkwing Duck Justice Ducks. Excited for that, too. Batman and Robin, issue two, Joshua Williamson. First issue was pretty great. The Avengers, Jed McKay, issue six. Wrapping up the first arc of this new run on the comic. 
World's Finest Teen Titans, Issue 4, by Mark Wade. This series has been great. Venom, Issue 26, by Torin. A little torn on this issue. It did pop up on Marvel Unlimited this week. I did read it. Moon Knight, City of the Dead, Issue 4. This also popped up on Marvel Unlimited. I did read it. Still a lot of fun. Uh, kind of tying into some of the MCU series stuff, but... Still works within the context of Jed McKay's current run. Spider-Man India, issue 5. was originally meant to be a 4-issue series. Got expanded to 5. It's been great the whole way through. And there is a little bit of a tie-in to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verses. Spider-Man India, so that's great too. The Cole, this is issue 3. Kelly Thompson on it. Haven't started reading that yet. I will get around to it. And we've got one more bundle. Let me get that out and get started. Alright, we have Gargoyles. The Halloween Special, Issue 1. This is a variant cover featuring Demona. It's a pretty complex character all throughout the Gargoyles television series and in the various comic runs. We have Gargoyles. Halloween special, I believe. This is a standard cover. Have Halloween, or Halloween, uh, Harley Quinn, black, white, and redder, issue four. I think this is the Chris Boccolo variant. Feel free in the comments to correct me if I'm wrong on any of these. Uncanny Spider Man, issue two, tying into the Fall of X. Dark X Men, issue three, tying into the Fall of X. This series has been a lot of fun so far. The writer's going to write a dead X-Men 5-issue miniseries as part of the Fall of X as well. Red Sonja. This has Torin Grunbeck on the series. It's been pretty great so far. Really allowing the character to cut loose. This is issue 4. This is Tom King's Wonder Woman, issue 2, part of the Dawn of DC. Also has a prologue for Amazon's Attack. Captain America, Issue 2, by Straczynski, featuring Spider-Man, a character that JMS loves to write. Uncanny Avengers, Issue 3, Jerry Duggan on this, tying into the Fall of X. Incredible Hulk, Philip Kennedy Johnson, this is Issue 5. Really, really good series. Catwoman, Issue 58, this is the Gotham War, Part 5. Batman White Knight Presents Generation Joker. This is book six. This is the concluding issue. I did not enjoy this miniseries, but I do enjoy the White Knight material, so I might stick with it. We'll see. Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. Issue one. I have read this through DC Universe Infinite. It was spectacular. A lot of fun. Miles Morales Spider Man, issue 11, featuring Blade. This relaunch series has been really, really good. Check it out. Avengers, Inc. This is issue two with Al Ewing. Al Ewing wrote an Ant-Man anniversary series and a Wasp anniversary series that both lead into this. It's sad this is getting canceled with issue five. It, is, it has really been good. Big Game. Issue four of five. Mark Miller tying in many of his creator-owned franchises. It's been a lot of fun. A little gratuitous, but I expect that from Mark Miller from time to time. Children of the Vault, issue three, part of the Fall of X, four-issue miniseries, leads into the Cable miniseries, also as part of the Fall of X that launches in January 2024, so this month. Hot Girl, issue four of six, part of the Dawn of DC. Took a while to get going. Still a lot of fun. And finally, Astonishing Iceman, issue 3, also tying into the Fall of X. So give me one second and I'll show off what the stacks look like together. Alright, all in all, that's what the stack looks like. Let me uh, take a Blu-ray disc here, show you the height. So here we have Scream 6. It's about as tall as a Blu-ray case and believe it or not that is a reduction of 
my pool. It will get even smaller following the end of some story arc, some mini series, and probably the fall of X, but we'll see. Discount Comic Book Service offers a pretty stellar discount, and most of these are series that I enjoy, but can kind of hold off on. I still have a pool list at a local comic book store for series I do have to read right away. I uh, have not done a haul video for that for several months, so I've got all of those together in a long box. I will showcase those for anyone interested in watching these videos. Just kind of like to show off my interests and communicate with the greater community out there. So thanks for tolerating these videos. Thanks for watching. You just stay healthy, stay safe. Happy New Year. We've made it to 2024. I hope it's going better than 2023 for y'all if 2023 was not the year. Remember that the year is what you make of it. You can start off in a negative headspace, but you can achieve a positive headspace as well. I'll probably be doing a series later this year dealing with mental health, even though I'm no expert. We all have our own journey. But I want people to feel loved, valued, and supported. So once again, stay healthy, stay safe, be well. Thanks for watching.